Hi, my name is Hilary Johnson. I'm one of the authors of a study on the prevalence and predictors of drooling in children aged 7 to 14 years who have cerebral palsy. The prevalence studies have been, that have been conducted previously have varied widely in their estimates and based on clinical or special school samples, so have, have been able to be generalised to all children with cerebral palsy. In addition, there's been lack of definitions of drooling and unclear methodological data in order to replicate the studies. What's new about our article is that the data is based on children identified from a cerebral palsy register in Victoria, Australia. In addition, the age range from 7 to 14 was chosen because it is a relative period of dental stability and it is a period in which drooling is unlikely to spontaneously improve. And what did we find? We found that overall the prevalence data of children with cerebral palsy who drool is 40%. In, a di in the paper, you will also be able to find out the different rates of prevalence for each level of gross motor functioning. We found that epilepsy and intellectual disability are factors significantly associated with drooling. And when we look at children beyond four years of age, the variables include a non-spastic motor type, hemiplegia or quadriplegia, an inability to control head posture, poor lip closure, an anterior open bite, eating difficulties, and limited or no speech, with a gross motor function classification level between four and five. We do hope you enjoy reading our paper. Please contact us if we can help you in any way. Thank you.